This is Scott. <laughs> This is Jay. <laughs> this is Scott and Jay show. I forgot the microphone. That's what I uh, just remembered. That's funny. Um, so today it's 63 degrees. I, th- I don't think we've been able to say 63 degrees in uh, downtown in Bartlesville since we started. Yeah, it's been a while. Your better. My throat is better. Yeah, I feel I feel a lot better. I got a little bit of cough. Like that dog. Yeah. yeah. So, but I still got, it's a little bit foggy, but little not bit, too bad. Not bad. And uh, I got a cough now, which is just really annoying. Uh, it'll probably go away here the next couple of days or whatever. But yeah, it sounds a whole lot better than Friday. Yes, and I feel Friday was so comical. much better. Yeah. Yep. So, big news this morning. Let's see. So, I uh, saw where Margaret Thatcher passed away. Yeah, passed Sad away. 87, died of a stroke. Yeah, oh, was it a stroke? Yeah. yeah. Um, a friend of mine uh, used to work security detail for Margaret Thatcher. Oh, yeah? When he was with the uh, RA Capital. Oh. Royal Air Force or something like that. Yeah, he, uh, whenever she traveled abroad, the, the, the Secret Service could not travel with weapons, so they were the security detail for her. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got some... Some not so favorable stories of her. But, oh yeah, you know she she was still a, a big um, part of the 1980s and uh, the political landscape that helped uh, bring down the, the the Berlin Wall along with the, with, uh, the president Ronald Reagan. But, did you see the movie with Margaret Thatcher? No, I did not. Yeah. Is uh. A little disappointing. Yeah. Kind of, it kind of took the angle of uh, her perspective from being an old person remembering back, and so it was kind of. I don't know. It's all right. Um, one out of ten, I'll give it a five. So, average. So, uh, speaking of movies, I tried to watch Lincoln last night, but fell asleep. It wasn't because of the movie. Just was really tired. Yeah. Well, I saw you were watching it. Diane mentioned something about it. So. Yeah. But, uh, big weekend this weekend? No, I didn't do anything. Just just rested. I had to get rid of this junk. Um, got a big weekend this next weekend, but uh, we're going to go watch the uh, red and white game at uh, Norman for oh, yeah. OU. We're looking forward to that. Trey went to see the um, blue and gold game, the, the spring game at TU uh, this weekend. He had a lot of fun doing that. Got some sun, got a little sunburn. Oh, yeah? Uh, but he had Did you get any sausage? Yeah. No. No sausage. Blue and gold. That's what you call it. Way Homer. Yeah, way Homer, yeah. yeah we'll get it way, way home. So the number one song for today, this year, what'd you say? It was the number eight. one song in 1985, a song by just about everybody who was everybody in yeah. 1985. We Are the World. Yeah. yeah. No, it came in. I was in the Padre when that came out. I was here. I was in school. Oh, we went to spring break at Padre, and that was, that was a big song back then. And uh, that was... Uh, Kind of cool to see Huey Lewis and who, Bruce Springsteen and Huey Lewis, Bruce Springsteen, um, uh, Dion Warwick, yeah, uh, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Lionel Richie uh, Hall and Oates, yeah, Sting, and Sting, Sting well, Cindy said, it, was, it was everybody who was everybody back then. So if you didn't get invited, you either got snubbed or you weren't really good. Yeah, so. Quincy Jones. Produced it. What? Uh, who was your favorite singer in that, in that group? Of that group, who was your favorite singer? I'm a Richie at the time. Well, at the time. At the time. Oh, gosh. I don't know. At the time, I don't really remember what I was into at that time. You know, Lionel Richie, Huey Lewis, Huey Lewis. Was Probably Huey that. Lewis was yeah. my, my favorite during that time. Yeah. But uh, I thought that we went to see Huey Lewis at the maybe center in Tulsa. That was a good concert. Yeah. A long time ago. A long time ago. Way back when. Way back when. And, uh, yeah, 
Huey Lewis and the News, and that was back when their album Four was out. And, uh, that album was just smoking, man. I mean, so every song was number one. They had a good run with that. So there's all you want to know about Huey Lewis and the News. So uh, Jimmy Johnson won uh, Mar- at Martinsville yesterday. Did you watch that? I did not. Oh, great race. Jimmy Johnson led almost the entire race. Really? Set a couple of track records, or at least one track record, and, and uh, just got a ton of points for it. So Jimmy Johnson's just on pace to have a monster year again this year. And, right. So, so uh, and then after that, the movie uh, Alamo came on. Um, Alamo? Yeah, with... Uh, John Wayne and Dennis Quaid oh. and um, uh, Sling Blade guy. What's his oh, face? Uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. That came. That was a. That was a really good movie. Wasn't yeah. that a long movie? It was pretty long. Yeah. Um, it. You know, it's amazing to sit there and think about those guys that facing the fact that they they knew that they were going to. Die. You know, they knew that they were not going to get to provisions or the men they needed, and that they were going to die. And they were told that uh, there was no surrender, that they were considered pirates, so there was no quarter. So who was in the Alamo? The Texans? The Texians, yeah. It was what they called them, the Texians. The Texians? And so they were being... Uh, they were being attacked by the Mexicans. Mexicans, okay. Yeah, so the Mexico, so Texas was trying to become its own nation and trying to be pulled in by the United States at the same time. So guys like Davy Crockett came in and, and uh, tried to David Bowie. help. Yeah, um, yeah, David Bowie. <laughs> Bowie, 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 not David Bowie. Uh, David Bowie actually came in as a, um, a commander. It's like a colonel, I think, and uh, brought like 30 men with him. And William Travis also came in with 30 men. And so there may have been two or 300 men there at the Alamo at the time. And um, they were facing an army of about 1,500 uh, by Santa Ana. And uh, it was a it was a slaughter, but. They held out for 13 days until uh, Santa Ana decided to attack them. And Sam Houston uh, met Santa Ana's army and defeated them in 18 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Read up on my history a little bit. <laughs> yes, so Sam Houston was in the Alamo? No, Sam Houston was not in the Alamo. So the guys the in the Alamo defeated. wanted to go, wanted Sam Houston to bring the men down there. But he knew he couldn't get him there in time, so he, he, and he knew he couldn't that there was going to be a losing battle down there. And so he was waiting for Santa Ana to make a mistake. And what Santa Ana did, he split his army in half. And basically, Santa Ana went one way, and Sam Houston kind of caught up with him um. and slaughtered him. And, and in the melee, they caught Santa Ana in in, in his um, bid to save his life. Santa Ana agreed to give over Texas, and so that's how Texas got their, uh, their independence. Wow. Yeah. There you go. So all you ever wanted to know about Texas. Yeah. And the Alamo. Have you ever, ever been to the Alamo? I have. It's very I, small. I, I kind of remember it. Yeah. Very small. Yeah, it is. I think, small. you know. But that's, that was just the chapel. So, I mean, the, the, the Alamo itself was, uh, was a mission area, and so there was, it was a small area, but it was kind of fortified, and um, but what we normally think of as the Alamo is mainly just the chapel. Mm-hmm. So, remember the Alamo. Yeah. Long day. So there's your history lesson wow. for today. Uh, you know, I'm from Texas, and I didn't quite know the whole story there. I am not yeah. from Texas, and I'm... Great know story. It. Yeah. So there, 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 therefore, that's why uh, Houston's so revered, is because he came in to help save the day. And Houston got Texas. Used to became Texas. Um, <laughs> um, it's got an email pop up there. Um, so yeah. So if you'd like more information about Scott and Jay Show, you can reach us on the Scott and Jay Show on YouTube. Um, 
them or the email pop up. Um, you can see us on Instagram, Scott and Jay Show. And you can see us on Facebook. That's the uh, shiny stuff. Scott and Jay Show. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a attention deficit ooh shiny syndrome. So anyway, yeah. What else is up? Nothing. <laughs> I've I've had my wealth of knowledge just spill out. Man, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. Makes me want to go study up on Texas history. Yeah. Being a Texan. Oops, got to pick up the last. Well, that's about all the time we have for today, folks. It's been riveting. And, uh, you know, if there was, if there was one thing that uh, happened at the Alamo, the, the, probably the most, uh, the most amazing thing that you were telling me about the Alamo and what happened was, what was that? Okay, so Santa Ana was, was kind of strutting around. Davy Crockett goes up and, and kind of makes a comment to him, takes his gun, lines up his shot, and...